Nick, was this the best you threw out season? And talk about your emotions coming off the mound in the, in those last two innings. Yeah, I, I just gave it my all, to be honest with you. I just competed with the strike zone, competed with those guys. Um, and my energy just shows uh, what this means means to me and means to our team. Um, it's really exciting. It's fun to be here. You know, it's a moment in time for me and, and for our team. So I, I think it's just, you know, me showing my emotions is just excitement. And, you know, it's just the way it goes. And on your left, guys, Pete. Nick, when, uh, Nick over here. When, um, when Alex was up here, he said uh, you go to a different place mentally sometimes when you're on the after you're, uh, when you're coming off the mound. How does that uh, how does that feel for you when you're? I don't know. To be honest with you, it just kind of happens for me. Um, you know, I think it's just my competitive nature. Um, like I said, how much I care about these guys here, and how much you know I want to do good for the, for the team, and and you know put them on my back, and you know just we're we're all trying our hardest, and we're all doing the best we can, and you know as a team effort today, it was just exciting. Have you had any point in your career thrown 140 pitches over three days? Uh, no, but it's fine. It's just another day for me. How do you feel? Great. Uh, Buck, go ahead, and then Sean. Um, can you just take us through the ball to right field and how it all played out? Yeah, uh, I have no idea what pitch it was. Uh, first one, slider, uh, slider middle, and he hit it pretty well. And I was, I was actually going for the catch, and happened to to look up, and and the wall was right there, and, and it hit the top of the wall, uh, ricocheted off the ground, hit me in the the right hip, and and uh, hopefully, thankfully, bounced over the fence, and uh, and issued a ground one double. Are you familiar with the rule and all that and everything? Yeah. I mean, it would be the same thing as if you are going down the line, hit your glove, hit the ground, and bounce over. I mean, it would be the same thing. We'll stay right there with Sean. Um, for any of you guys, um, it, down the stretch, you played a lot of games that seemed to be decided in the eighth or ninth inning. Um, to what degree do you think that prepared you for nights like tonight and games like tonight? Yeah, you know, I, the biggest thing is that we didn't, you know, we didn't quit. You know, we knew the 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 last you know six whatever games we played. Uh, you know, going down to the wire, the the hardest thing was getting in. Uh, you know, we all knew what was at, at stake. We just had to get in. And uh, after that, all it was was just going out there and executing and take the result. And we've done a fantastic job uh, offensively, defensively, pitching. Uh, executing things like that and uh, you know we're, we're picking each other up that's the biggest thing and um, for, for you know the game like that to unravel how it was uh, you know obviously one it's not ideal but two you know you see what Nikki does uh, you see what C does there at the end um, it, it was big it puts us in a really good situation and uh, we just have to be able to go out there tomorrow. You know, it's not over. You know, yeah, great win. It's not over. We need to go out there tomorrow and take care of business. The second row on your left. Nick, uh, Alex said that, that your pitching performance reminded him a little of, of Nate in 2018. Did you watch that game? Where, kind of where were you? And, and you must have heard of people talk about it here. Did, did that cross your mind at all that, that, that that's – sort of thing is what's called upon in, in a game like this? Yeah, I think I alluded to that uh, previously, maybe a couple weeks ago. You know, I, I definitely have taken a lot from Nate and what he's done, and he's helped me prepare for these situations. Um, I, I did watch that game. I, had, I, I was watching it, so I was aware of it. But, you know, in the moment, I'm just trying to go up there and throw zeros and do the best I possibly can to keep the team in it so that our, our offense can come through for us. Where were you when you watched that game? Uh, it's probably in uh, Los Angeles at the time. And yeah, Marley right behind you. Thank you. Kyle, could you walk us through the play and um, <laughs> your pumping up of the crowd? And, and how did you decide to do that uh, to your own fanhood? Uh, you know what? You got to be able to make fun of yourself every once in a while, right? You know, loosen the, uh, loosen the situation up. Uh, you know, obviously, being new over there at first base, you make the air, Nate pitch you, picks you up. Unbelievable job by Nate. And then, uh, you know, you go out there, you, you uh, make the good old routine play, and, uh, you know, loosen it up a little bit. you got to be able to make fun of yourself. It, w it was a good time. Uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, got a laugh out of pretty much almost everyone. And, um, you know, uh, yeah. it, it's, it's a game. You know, like, you got to be able to uh, laugh at yourself. But uh, at the end of the day, it, you know, Nate went 2-3 right after that. And, uh, 
you know, that was, it, it was fun. Just a few more to your left, Rob. Guys, uh, over here. Um, any of you can answer this, but a lot was made after Tuesday's game about the crowd and how good it was. And, and Alex said he thought that today's was even better. Can you talk a little bit about the atmosphere of going through this last few games here and, and what it's been like? I mean, <clears throat> I don't know if it could have been better than the Yankee series. I think that was uh, probably the best fans noise interaction that I've ever seen uh, from both ours and Yankee fans alike. So um, tonight was incredible as well. Um, obviously, it was a different situation uh, being that, you know, we went 13 innings or whatever, 14 innings, whatever it was. Um, but, you know, they were there in it from the beginning, like just like the uh, other night, and, and it was fun. The guys, uh, obviously, you know, we, we built off the, the fan interaction and, and the noise, and, and uh, we love it. You know, it fires us up, and, we, and this, is when we come to the, this is why we come to the field. You know, this is, this is, this is it. Let's do a couple more on your right, guys, in the second row. Um, this is just for anybody. Uh, Kike is having an incredible series, adding to an already incredible uh, postseason career. Can you just talk about what, you know, it's like having him um, and how he's able to kind of do this and put on this performance yeah, in it, October? Yeah, it's fantastic. I mean, the guy's locked in. Um, to be able to go out there, you know, the, the postseason is it's a different beast. And uh, you, you can't compare it to any regular season game. And uh, I, I feel like it brings the best out of everyone. And uh, you see what Kike is doing at the plate right now. Um, you know, the, the biggest thing is just let him keep, keep going up there and keep doing, keep doing what he's doing. Uh, you know, give him high fives whenever he comes in, hits a home run, hits a big double, whatever it is. Don't, you know, don't mention anything. And uh, let him keep enjoying the moment. That's kind of the biggest thing. We're all enjoying the moment right now. And, uh, you know, he, he's doing an exceptional job uh, of enjoying the moment. And we'll finish up in the back right corner. Yeah, Nick, could you just kind of reflect on how good this game was overall? And when you get the ball in the tenth, are you prepared to go as long as you as you need to go in that instance? Yeah, I mean, uh, Nate Nate started off with us, and he and he did an incredible job uh, to go deep. And then the guys who came in between did a great job. Um, for me personally, you know, um, I'm just prepared to do it, whatever whatever it takes at any time. I think that's the most important thing um, until I'm taken out of the game. I was ready to go as long as I possibly could. I had the energy for it. I had the rest for it. Um, but you know, it's there's a lot of pressure in those situations, and it's just you gotta have fun with it. You gotta be excited. Like I said, feed off the crowd, feed off everybody else, the dugout. And, you know, everybody was in it, so kept me in, kept me in the baseball game, kept me at high energy, which I like to be at. And you know, it was just exciting stuff to be a part of. It was a, it was just a moment in time, like I've said, and it's, it's, it'll never be forgotten.